In this video, I'll be demonstrating the motion of the DFO Reality P6, it being a six axis uh, motion simulator. I wanted to spend some time and show how exactly it moves so people get a better idea of its motion capabilities um, and as it relates to each of the um, different axes available. Uh, so in order to actually do this using Sim, Rating, Sim Racing Studio, um, you'll first go to setup, then hardware, and then hardware you'll scroll down until you get to the motion section. Here this is where you're able to select the different type of motion platform you have for DFO Reality as well as the different models available. So mine being a P6, I have DFO Reality P6 selected. In order to enable motion and motion test um, as a, just a safety precaution, um, you'll need to enable it um, so it can start to move by the slider buttons here. So just click on click start and now it is able to move um, the first one we'll go through is pitch i'll then do roll yaw followed by traction loss you'll be able to see the difference between yaw and traction loss and then finally sway surge and heave uh, so i'll do my best to do smooth movements the most important thing to remember right now is since i am not in the motion simulator um, it is not perfectly balanced so as it moves through certain axes, you might see it jitter a little bit um, or judder or however you want to describe it. And that's just basically because, again, a motor is trying a little bit harder than if the weight was in there, in which it would be smoother motion. All right, let's get into it. Here's pitch. Pitching all the way backwards. All the way forward. Finally at rest. Next for roll. Going left and rolling right. You can see it does a little bit of a curve sway near the end. That's again just reaching the end of the motor movement. It's not something you really feel in the simulator at all. Just gives you an idea of how the motors work. Next is yaw. This is the one that pivots on the central axis. It's quite a range of motion. That's the key thing. Notice the front of the steering wheel, how much it's moving with the yaw. All right, and now we're going to go immediately to traction loss. And again, pay attention. This is where traction loss um, is defined by the pivoting at the front. Left and right. As you can see, the tr steering wheel pretty much stays relative to where it's at. This is one of the neater functions of the P6 or the H6, because you can still get traction loss. So it's not just limited to the H3 or P3. So getting back to yaw, see how much it moves up at the front. It still pivots at the back. And back to traction loss. All right. Next is sway. This is one of those motions um, available to the P6. So going left and right. As you can see, it's not rolling like roll does. It actually just moves you to the left and right. Here's roll again, so you can see the difference. All 
Next up is surge. Again, another one um, just available for the six axis. So backward surge. I want to make sure no one's behind you when this thing's moving. Forward surge. Backward surge. And how surge compares to pitch. Finally, one of the fun ones, heave. Just straight up and down. Again, one of those ones just available for the H6 and P6 or 6 axis. Question would be okay, well, how do these all work together? Well, it does its best. Um, but say, like, let's say if you're pitching forward at the same time heaving, there's not quite as much motion. This is due to the motors already being at their maximum throw, right? Where if we turn down pitch a little bit, we'll have a little bit more ability to do heave. Same thing goes with roll. If I were to now try to pitch forward, it's not going to pitch nearly as much because now the yeah, roll has taken priority. This is one of those key concepts when you're tuning in terms of setting the effect slider. It is always the which is the most predominant effect. It can't do everything at once simply just because of the limitations of a motion platform. It doesn't matter which manufacturer it is. They all inherently have these limitations of movement the surge all the way back. If I were to try to do traction loss, it's much in terms of restricted. Great. Hopefully this helps out everyone kind of understand the different motion capabilities of the P6. Thank you very much.